This is the tap block. This is the transverse abdominus plane block. So for the tap block, you'll place the transducer right about the level of the umbilicus. And if Carson had a seam, and this was the seam between his lateral portion of his body and his anterior portion of his body, this is where I would want to place my transducer. You're looking for three layers of muscle. And this is going to be difficult in patients that are really lean because you don't get to see the three layers of muscle so well because they have very thin muscular layers. But on Carson, you see the three layers plus his abdominal cavity. And what we're looking for is the muscle layer that's just outside of the abdominal cavity. And all this is Carson's bowel and peritoneal cavity. And this is the first muscle layer, and that's our transverse abdominus layer. And right above that is the fascial plane that we're aiming for. This is where the nerves are. You can't see the nerves. You can only see the fascial plane. And so you're targeting the needle to enter and stop right at this fascial plane, and that's where you inject your volume of anesthetic. Going towards the near field, you have your internal oblique muscle and then your external oblique muscle, and of course the skin and subcute tissue as well. So for the needle, the needle would come in plane, traveling medial to lateral under the transducer. And again, the goal is to put the needle tip in the transverse abdominus fascial plane, which is just above the transverse abdominus muscle itself. That's my hot tip. Now it's your turn to scan.